Hi, welcome back to General Chemistry 2. My name is Chuck White and today's lesson is on enthalpy changes for chemical reactions. We will talk about endothermic and exothermic chemical reactions and Hess's law which tells us that reaction enthalpies are additive. We'll talk about bond energies and bond enthalpies and we'll talk about standard enthalpies of formation for uh, elements and for uh, chemical species and for reactions. And finally at the end we'll take a brief look at enthalpies of combustion. The enthalpy of a reaction uh, is calculated uh, by considering the heat internal energy enthalpy difference between the reactants and products. To visualize this, we can see that a system consisting of one carbon atom, four hydrogen atoms, and two oxygen atoms can exist in three very different chemical states, either formaldehyde water, methane oxygen, or uh, an atom of graphite, and two water molecules. The enthalpy of reaction uh, of methane with oxygen uh, to form formaldehyde and water releases heat. This type of reaction is called an exothermic reaction. And we can write it uh, in the chemical reaction this way and look up in tables to determine that the delta H for this reaction is minus 319.7 kilojoules per mole. Because enthalpy is a state function, uh, that is to say energy is conserved, the reverse reaction must be endothermic by the same amount. So we can write the reaction backwards, and the delta H is exactly the same, but with a positive algebraic sign instead of a negative algebraic sign. This is an endothermic reaction because it requires a heat input to get the reaction to go. Now let's take a brief look at bond energies. To break one of the four carbon-hydrogen bonds in methane requires an energy input of 438.3 kilojoules per mole. This is an endothermic process. Other CH bond energies or enthalpies are similar, but the average bond uh, enthalpy for a typical hydrocarbon is about 413 kilojoules per mole. Uh, it just happens that methane is on the high end of, of this spectrum. Usually we can ignore the small difference between a bond energy and a bond enthalpy, uh, which is about 2.5 kilojoules per mole. Now Hess's law tells us that bond reaction enthalpies are additive. So we can consider the methane reaction with oxygen to form formaldehyde and water, and that's exothermic by 319.7 kilojoules per mole. And furthermore, reaction of formaldehyde to form graphite and water is also exothermic, this time by 177.3 kilojoules per mole. But if we take the methane and react it directly with oxygen to form graphite and two water molecules, that reaction is uh, exothermic by 497 kilojoules per mole. So it doesn't make any difference whether we form the final products, graphite and two water molecules, in a single step from methane and oxygen or in two steps using formaldehyde as an intermediate. The total heat released in both cases is 497 kilojoules per mole. We can illustrate this on a reaction enthalpy diagram, where the highest energy combination is methane plus oxygen. Uh, the uh, formaldehyde plus water lies uh, 319.7 kilojoules per mole lower in energy, and the graphite plus two water molecules uh, lies an additional 177.3 uh, kilojoules per mole lower in energy. So the total is just the sum of the two steps. So for forming formaldehyde from graphite and water uh, is clearly endothermic uh, because graphite and water lie at the bottom of the diagram and it would take 177.3 kilojoules per mole additional heat to form formaldehyde and water. We can make this energy diagram even more useful by assigning an absolute scale of enthalpy instead of just dealing with uh, individual differences. And so this is the same diagram that I had before, except at the top I've added uh, graphite, two hydrogen molecules, and an oxygen molecule uh, as um, uh, a way of, uh, 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 as a different way of um, combining these uh, elements now uh, all in elemental form. And so we choose the zero of this scale to be the elements hydrogen, molecular hydrogen, molecular oxygen, and graphite at one bar pressure and temperature of interest, which is usually 25 degrees Celsius or 298.15 kelvins. Um, methane plus oxygen lies 74.6 
kilojoules per mole lower in energy, uh, and um, the formaldehyde and water lie 394.3 kilojoules per mole lower than the elements, uh, but only 319.7 kilojoules per mole lower than the methane plus oxygen. So on the right-hand side of these, uh, this diagram, we can see the same energy differences as before uh, between the three different combinations that we originally considered. But now, when we put this on an absolute scale with the elements at the top uh, defining the zero of energy, we can write um, the energies in terms of the standard enthalpy of formation. So now to calculate uh, reaction enthalpies, we can use these standard enthalpies of formation to calculate the delta H for almost any reaction. So for example, in, in the um, methane reaction with oxygen to form graphite plus two water molecules, we can look up the enthalpies of formation of the uh, products and subtract the enthalpies of formation of the reactants uh, to get the overall delta H for the reaction as 497 minus 497 kilojoules per mole. Now you have to remember that um, the stoichiometric coefficients are important. So we have two water molecules and so when we look up the enthalpy of formation of liquid water we'll find that to be minus 285.8. We have to multiply that by 2 because there are two product um, molecules of water in this particular chemical reaction. So don't forget to uh, multiply by the stoichiometric coefficients for the balanced chemical reaction. And remember that the uh, enthalpy of formation for any element, in this case graphite and oxygen, is zero. The enthalpy of combustion is a special case where uh, oxygen is supplied by the atmosphere, so we're usually concerned with burning things. And the most stable products are usually carbon dioxide, water, and molecular nitrogen. So here's an example of propane, which reacts with oxygen to form CO2 and water. And uh, uh, we can now write out uh, the balanced chemical reaction uh, where we need five moles of oxygen for every mole of um, propane to make three moles of CO2 and four moles of water. If we look up the um, delta H of formation for the various species and then multiply by um, the uh, stoichiometric coefficients, take the heats of formation of the products and subtract the heats of formation of the reactants, then we get the delta H of combustion for propane is minus uh, 2,043.9 kilojoules per mole. And this procedure for computing the heats of combustion is the same as for all other reactions. It's just that we're usually interested in the reaction with oxygen as a combustion reaction, and we're usually interested in producing the most stable products like CO2, water, and molecular nitrogen. So next time, we'll talk about entropy as opposed to enthalpy as a state function that's related to the disorder of a system.